everybody, it's Cody Dixon RC here. Welcome to week six of the budget build competition featuring the Sendero SE. Uh, sorry it's been a long time. Uh, I've been busy doing other things uh, that this just hasn't been able, I haven't had time to do this. So I finally got some time today to come out here and do this. Um, so week six is gonna have a little bit to do with, or all to do with winching. Uh, we're going to install the Boom Racing Muscle Winch. This will be the first time I've used this. Uh, I've had it for a while, but I've never um, utilized it in anything. So I've never really had to utilize something like this size in anything just yet. Uh, this is a great metal geared servo winch. It is an internal winch as well. Comes with a hook, comes with nylon, everything like that. But in order to utilize it in this the proper way, because you know the way you where you're going to mount it, you have to be able to route everything. So we're going to use the Boom Racing routing kit as well. It's made specifically for this winch. Um, the cool thing about it is that I'll show you in a minute because I have tested this uh, to make sure this is going to work before I decided to make a video on it. But uh, you know this particular truck in the front mount where you can do a servo or in a winch, it has a fair lead hole in it already, uh, made into that and also made. Oh, no, I'm sorry, the Fairlead mount is made into the bumper. I don't think the actual the bumper has a Fairlead, but the bumper mount itself has a Fairlead hole in it. So we're going to utilize that as well to try and keep this from, you know, whenever you're using it to, so the line doesn't get crossed up and tangled and things like that. Now, the way I've done this is a little bit different than how I would normally set up one of these. Uh, we're going to, we're going to use it lay it flat down but we're also going to use just some universal servo mounts these are for like axle mounted servos uh depending on where i think these are axial ones i don't know where they come from but we'll mount these to it and then lay this down flat and then put the the routing kit in here so we have a nice clean smooth setup so hang tight we're going to come around and um do this and then we'll get it installed and then we'll go over totals and Everything. This should be fairly simple. This might not be super simple for you guys. I'm going to try and explain what I've done to you to, to fix, you know, to make it fit on this particular mount. Uh, not every mount's going to be the same. Not every truck's going to be the same. But this should work on this particular truck. Now, if you just need to build a plate in the front or buy one of these element mounts, you can do that as well. These will fit probably most every uh sex 10 2 10 3 things like that maybe not a three i don't really know how it's set up i've never owned one so i don't really know but so hang tight we'll come around we'll get this thing installed and i'll show you what i did all right so what i've done is i've taken this plastic mount these two holes at the far left i've drilled out to just you know so a three millimeter screw will just go through it there's no threading involved it just fits it just goes all the way through I did behind that is what I'm going to take is just regular old servo mounts like this here and just bolt them to the side of this servo winch like so here and then just set it on here and it'll bolt in. Of course that's un uneven because of that but so it'll sit about like this. Well then well you're like well how do you make this work as far as fitment goes with the winch line? Well, so this route kit comes with a little piece like this. It will bolt into here, and then it comes with a mounting, a routing line. The cool thing about it is, is this particular bumper mount, this line fits directly inside of it. it does, I mean, it takes a little bit of, you got to kind of force it in there, but it's tight. So there's no, you don't have to drill this out. It'll just fit in there, and then you're good to go. So the idea behind that will be, now you don't really have to fight with you know whatever you're going to do here so you'll just run the line from here into here just have it flush with this hole here and then you're good to go the line will come out of the bumper here and then that's it so i'm going to go ahead and do that i'm going to speed through all that because there's really no reason for you to see everything for this video to be 40 minutes long uh it shouldn't be that bad to really do now that I've, i mean i've already kind of put this on here to see but the how you take this these two pieces out here you take these four screws out and this comes out of it because these are threaded and then you just put this in its place like so and then that's it that's pretty much all you really do it's fairly simple uh it shouldn't be that bad to do so just watch and we'll get it done
All right, I'm going to change something that I said I wasn't going to do. Uh, I've put this in here once before, and you can see it's starting to eat this up. This is just like a spring-loaded kind of deal. But this hole that's in this bumper is a smidge too small, uh, so I'm going to drill it out to a 3.2. I wish I had something a little bit smaller than that, but that's all I got, really, that's going to work. So I'm going to drill this hole out here to maybe just help That should also help with this thing, uh, this just gliding in here now, instead of being kind of a pain. Yeah, that's way better. So the only downside I think I've got with this is this to here is such a hard, it's very, um, let's see if I can make this fit in here. Cause this only goes in a certain way, snaps in there. I don't know if that's enough or not, but the problem that this is is that is such a tight um, that's gonna be super tight but it, I think it's still gonna work I don't know I think I'm gonna have to take the take this bumper mount out feed it through and then figure out what to do from there so hang on let me take that out real quick use some good use some good cutters that's the only way to make that work so so here's where I think my dilemma is gonna be when I shove this in here see how tight that gets that is that is a very tight radius I don't know I mean it might work fine I don't know hard to tell I don't really know how it's gonna go um, but all I do know is I've got to get this line routed through here first before I can do any of this because none of this is really gonna matter if the line isn't isn't in it so cool thing about this winch you can pull this lever here and it becomes a free 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 flow i guess is a good way to say it i don't really know the proper term to say that there we go there so that's it there Shove that and shove that piece in there, and then, oof, man, I don't know if that's gonna work or not. I don't, I don't know. It's worth a shot. We're gonna try it. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and mount these screws back in here. Um, it's not going to be super flush because of how these scissors cut. What I'm going to try and do is pull it, cut it, and then it'll go back in there a little bit. A little bit of, yeah, there's a little bit of line in there, but that'll be okay. So what we'll do is we'll grab this line and pull. There it goes. All right, cool. So that's done there. All right, so I got it installed. I ran the cord or the receiver wire into channel number four or whatever you want to call it, channel four. Yeah, channel four, mainly because on the GT5, channel four is this switch here. So that go in and then out kind of deal, either or. You can use three if you wanted to. I think it can work with that. The cool thing about this muscle winch is it is a internally controlled winch, so you don't have to have an external controller. So the good that's really good. It helps. It eases down on wire management and things like that. Also, it's just set up and ready to go. Um, so when I turn mine on and then turn my controller on, of course you see it works. Now it'll go out and then it goes in, all by use of the controller. So what I'm going to do is I will pull it. Oh, I went too far there. Out. So. So when I go out with it here, what I'm going to install will be my little bike chain link and my hook. This is mainly 
This will go in between it and my pool pal. Uh, only reason why I have this is this will hook to the pieces, the little hooks that I put in the bed to flip the truck back over so I don't have to touch the truck to get any points off during a competition. Um, I think this, um, I'm going to pull this out a pretty good amount and see how it spools into the winch. Uh, we'll see, that's the first line there. So we'll watch this here. I, like I said, I don't know how well this is going to do as far as how it's going to go in, but let's see. So we'll put it in. It's spooling. I mean, that's not going to be... It, see, it's starting to do it there. It to double up. That's not going to be too bad. I think that'll be fine. I don't really think... I don't really think that's going to be too bad. So anyway, not too bad. Not a bad deal for uh, $79 for you get the the winch and the mount piece with the little routing cable uh that's really good it's not a bad price this thing's got enough power it's pretty fast there is also other accessories you can buy there's a little piece that you can put on here to make this where you just press something and it locks it loose but i think where mine is if i mean i'm not gonna be able to put my hand in here anyway but you can do that and pull it as much as you want that kind of deal uh there is a set of speed gears that go in here also to make it even faster. I think this is fast enough. Some comp guys want it faster, but for the amount of kind of comps I'm gonna do, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. So not too bad. So that put us, we had $79.25 left over from last week when we installed the servo. Uh, that got us, that was really close. We didn't have very much left over. Uh, we spent $79, so we have 25 cent left over to go over to the next week, week seven. Um, so you know, we're cutting it close, and that shows you that it doesn't take much to, even at trying to spend less money or budgeted and budgeting it out, it, you still really get close to spending all your money every week. Um, so that goes to show it doesn't, it's not very, it doesn't take long to spend a bunch of money, even when you're trying not to. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, hopefully I'll have more out here in the next week or two. Uh, so thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, hit the like, subscribe, you know, hit the bell if you want to. I'm going to try and put out more content as much as I can, but I can't guarantee it. It's been very, very, very busy here. So, um, thanks for watching everybody. We will see you next time.